Thanks for your interest in children's ministries. My name is Tara DiGiacomo and I'm the elementary coordinator overseeing grades one through six. This training video should tell you what you need to know to get started in children's ministries. The elementary wing is located on the lower level of the church building. Each classroom should have a teacher and a helper. The teacher is responsible for presenting the lesson and should delegate responsibilities to the helper. If you're a helper, find ways to be helpful. Take attendance as the students enter, help with activities and crowd control and with dismissal and that kind of thing. Our school year runs from the beginning of September till the end of June. If you ever find yourself needing a sub, please let me know enough in advance so that I can secure one for you. Or you can switch out with your alternate teacher. Just let me know of any changes that you make. You can expect an email a week or two before your scheduled date in the classroom. In the email, you'll find attachments, including your lesson and the items that will be available to you in the classroom. There'll be a box in your classroom that looks like this, where you can find a copy of the lesson. Here's a sample. In it, you'll find a few different ways to present the lesson, of which you can choose your favorite. The lesson will refer to pack items, which can be found in your classroom in a packet that looks like this. The items are numbered, and you should be able to find anything you're looking for that was sent in an attachment labeled pack item in here, so you don't need to print any of it out at home. Arriving 15 minutes before class will allow you time to find the items you want to use and to greet the early birds. It's so important that you be on time. So note 15 minutes before class begins is when we expect you to be in your classroom. It reflects poorly on our program when the volunteers are late, so set your clocks back if you need to so that you can be on time. The lesson will refer to an activity sheet. Here's an example of one. And if for some reason you don't find time to work on it on class, please be sure to send it home with the students so that they can complete it at home. We don't want it to go to waste. And during the week, the students and their families will receive an email reviewing what we went over in class. Here's an example of the teaching picture that you'll have in your class lesson. And it has the story on the back, so you can read it to the class while they read along in their Bibles. We also have a CD and a DVD available upon your request. Your lesson will mention them, and you can get them from me if you want to use them. In addition to that, we have a tablet where you can locate YouTube videos if you choose to use them in your classroom. And we have what's called a Chromecast that helps you cast whatever's on this little tablet onto the classroom TV so the whole class can see what you want to show. You can start with a worship video if you want, or I can help you find videos to complement your lesson. We have coloring sheets that go along with the lesson, and I also have a complement to your lesson that will help if you have any students with special needs. You can see me for that information. Also, there should be pens and pencils and crayons and markers and anything that you think that you should have available to you in a classroom should be in the classroom, but if you find that you're missing something, just let me know and I'll make sure to get it for you. And in addition to that, if you need any extra supplies that are listed in the lesson or just something that you want to try, you need to let me know the Wednesday before class begins so that I can get them for you. And we have a craft closet that you can have access to with plenty of supplies as well. We want you to feel comfortable in your classroom and make it your own. We have bulletin boards inside the classroom and outside of the classroom that you're welcome to decorate any way that you like and change it up as you go along through the year. Some teachers even have a theme for the year and they set their classroom up in a special way. And um, you can feel free also to make incentive charts or class rules and post them and set up stations in your room if you like. You can move from craft time to story time to game time or whatever. We just ask that you set up your room before you leave the way that it's pictured on your classroom door. As you decorate your rooms, we just ask that you don't staple into the doors or walls. We're just trying to keep the rooms looking nice. We have special adhesives that you can ask me for if you need, if you need something other than your bulletin boards or the places that are already set up for stapling into. Just let me know. You'll find that not every child likes every activity that you present, and that's okay. Don't take it personally. Some kids need to sit out for some activities, and then you should let them. They should be able to stand up if they feel that they need to stand up during a lesson, or maybe fidget with something in their hands if it makes them more comfortable, and that's okay. But if a student is misbehaving and interrupting your class, please have your helper walk them out into the hallway where I can sit with them and speak with the parents if necessary. There are some contests that we'd like you to know about. The first one is our volunteer raffle. And if you would fill out one of these little volunteer raffle forms every time you volunteer in children's ministries and drop it in the box, you'll be entered into a contest. And every quarter, we choose someone who wins a gift card. Another thing you should know about is our memory verse challenge. Families can pick these up in the hallway. And inside, it gives a list of age-appropriate verses that the students can work on memorizing throughout the school year. 
And once they memorize a verse, they can come see me in the hallway, and if they do it successfully, they'll receive a prize. And if they are able to complete all of the memory verses for the school year, they'll be entered into a raffle to win a bigger prize. Also, we have a Bring Your Bible Challenge. Please take note when a student enters your classroom with a Bible and take a little marble and put it on the chart. And when the chart is full, we'll have some kind of wonderful celebration. And we want you to make sure to use the Bibles in class. If a student, for some reason, doesn't have a Bible, we'd be happy to provide one for them. If you want to encourage your students to tithe, we have a church box set up in the hallway where you can have them drop any change or money they'd like to donate, and that goes towards missions that we're serving at Grace Church. It's our hope that you'll pray for your class and for their families and for this ministry, and if there's anything that we can pray for you, please let us know. And we'd like you to check out our other video on safety and security, and know that we're so thankful that you're joining our team and look forward to working with you. Bye.